Well, welcome back to That's So Vegas. We're having a really good time here. Yeah. Christine McKellar, your host, and I'm with Tommy Wind. And don't forget about Andy. That's right. That's cool. yeah, yes. She just turned me down because I'm not a Jewish vampire. <laughs> <laughs> There's a backstory to that, and I'm, I'm going to share that someday. Yeah. Plastic surgeon, plastic surgeon. So <laughs> uh, the hemophiliac thing was awesome. And we were talking about your shows, Evil Dead, and just this broad spectrum that you've brought to yeah. Vegas. And do you have other well you're just landing things left and right do you have projections for the rest of this year uh, uh yeah uh we we do we have some uh some really cool things that are happening uh i'm really excited about a, a, a few great things and what's great is i get to work with my whole family on everything you I know love so that. It's, it's really fun you know um one part we just get awesome? uh, well i think that's actually a really cool part of the show uh me and my dad we do a dueling drum segment in the show as well oh. too so we're going to be spicing that up a little bit we're putting new illusions in the show uh -huh. uh, we're adding a new levitation, so Stacy's going to be levitating even higher in the air <laughs> than she does now. So uh, we're, we're adding some really cool things into the show that we're super excited about. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're, we also have a new show coming in called The Men of Steel. Ooh, and uh, yeah, and it's uh, it's it's like mm. a Magic Mike type show. You oh, know? really? I, yeah, it's yeah, it's like that. It's like a Chippendales, but it's I've I've seen the promotion for it. They were over in in England mm -hmm. for a long period of time, and uh, now they're coming here and it's going to be a killer show I've, I've seen the i've seen the promotion and marketing strategies and it, it from what i see it's going to be sold out every night and what's the age um i mature? believe it's eight i believe it's going to be 18 mature. and over it's mm -hmm. going to be mature there's no nudity though there's right. just um uh because we're actually we're we're a, we're a tavern we're, we're considered a tavern so we don't there's no nudity on our property whatsoever so it doesn't it doesn't ever cross that line but you have a bar uh, but yeah we have a bar uh, yeah we have a, a full liquor license yeah. and uh so um uh but it's uh, th there's no full frontal nudity, nudity as I, sh mm -hmm. I should say, more implied and just uh, you know shirtless and stuff like that. Not for the <laughs> women though. <but> just, <laughs> yeah, because you can't. Have that, so. I've seen some things lately uh, <laughs> that well, yeah, the Chippendales are getting out there. They're giving you more titillation all the time. It's pretty crazy. Um, you know what everybody's been buzzing about is the T-Mobile Arena. Yeah. And the park, which is in your neck of the woods. Yes, it's it is. It's right down the street. We They're, like it. Do you so like yes, it a do. lot? I was going <laughs> to ask you, how did that impact your business? Good, bad, and different traffic? What? What's going on? Well, it's actually, believe it or not, it. Um, I haven't seen an impact on the influx of people into the venue. Uh -huh. However, we, uh, in our lease, we own the parking lot outside <laughs> of the venue as well well too so uh if there's too much parking take it up come to the tommy wind theater oh there you go yeah <laughs> okay yeah that's, yeah so we got it we have a beautiful 350 uh uh space parking lot. I love that because you go it's if, if you know you have to be aware it's across from New York by Denny's you go right past Denny's if I recall correctly into yes. your parking lot yes. yes and then boy you have valet parking it's all right there yeah. and you just pop out and you're there in the theater yeah it's, it's a yeah. great venue it really is thank you thank would you say predominantly you get a lot of locals or yes, do you have any way do. to track all that and yeah we get we get local do you have any way to track all that <laughs> now that you're here in Hudson, we try to collect their email addresses and <laughs> yeah, they, and all that kind of stuff. yeah we get we get locals we get tourists we get we get uh we walk love in our traffic locals. yeah we get yeah. walk-in traffic we love our locals uh, we're, you know, we're right, we're right on the strip, but it's down. It's got its own, it's got its own lane mm -hmm. to get to the theater it's between yeah. the Fat Burger and the Walgreens. So everything's right there. You know, you yeah. need something from Walgreens, you could get it. You need to see a show, you could get it, and you're hungry, you could get some fries. You yeah. know, so it's, yeah. uh, it's all, it's a, it's a great location. We're really excited. And again, it's just wonderful that you work with your family and your dad and your grandpa and uh, Stacy. And yeah. did you two meet in Magic, or did you meet through mutual friends or something? Uh, well, it actually, believe it or not. Uh, she was a manager okay. uh, at the at the Boulevard Theater, ah. and uh, yeah, and, and she was doing a great job over there. So we became acquaintances and friends, and she liked the show. And uh -huh. I didn't realize she had a bit of a dance back around, and uh, and so I, so we just started being friends and everything. And then I came up with a real smooth line to ask her out. Ah. I said, so since. I'm going to be here at the theater a lot. I need to stay in touch with everyone. 
And then I said, so therefore, can I have your phone number? And she gave it to me. She knew it was a, <laughs> She wasn't saw you coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so she gave me her number, and then uh, and then we would text back and forth. And I kept saying, we're going to go out. I want to take you out. I want to take you out. And and she actually she said she said yes. And uh -huh. and then uh, and then uh, for a little while I was busy. She was busy. And then all of a sudden, then we finally went out to actually the Canon event was our very first oh, date. Oh, that's event a at the, wonderful at the, event. Yeah, and, yes, at the Vene or the the. Uh, Mandalay Bay. What am I saying? Yeah, at the yeah at the, yeah, at, the, at, the uh, at the Bellagio. Yes, Bellagio. Yeah. So but we went we went there and and uh, we had a great evening and uh -huh. then the rest is history from there. Just well, you know what? You're both and I'm going to use the word adorable because I can because I'm older than you are. I could be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if guys like to be called adorable, but you are adorable. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. And so is Stacy. And you know, you see those couples sometimes that just look like they were meant to be together, and that's the way it is. I can't wait. Oh, it's rude of me. But your mom will appreciate it. I can't wait to see what kind of babies you guys Aww. make. <laughs> because I'm at that my son's 27, and I'm like, baby, baby, baby. But he's Aww. not ready yet. So, Well, I can't thank you enough again for coming thank on the show. We're going to take a few me. minutes, and we, let's all talk about that. There's a speaking of events and stuff coming up. Bubblicious, UNL Vino. And this is one thing we love about Vegas, because what I like about it, have you been to that, or do you plan on going? Or uh, should we make plans for next year for all of you? Wait, it's uh, at the Venetian, that's UNLV, and they have the oh. um, like the Culinary School of Arts at, oh, at the university oh. here, which I mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. I think we should be proud of our food and beverage and culinary here at Vegas. So that's coming up, and you can buy tickets, you know. And I have to toot my own horn. Uh, if you don't catch everything, or if you want to know tickets, prices, and things, go to www. VegasOnlyEntertainment.com under Vegas VIPs, and we're going to be mentioning you guys in the newsletter this week as well. Very but nice. I am thrilled about anything that promotes uh, education here in town. And uh, following that is the Grand Tasting, and that's um, at the Paris, and that's where all the chefs and the I love that. sommeliers come mm -hmm. together, and people mm -hmm. get samplings. It's a little pricey, but it's well that's worth cool. it. So, you know what? You might get some trickle down traffic from all of this. That would be that would that would be pretty cool. <laughs> you know, if they're waiting for a venue or you know yeah, walking down great, the strip yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's right. We're um, right there. And the Palazzo Theaters. Uh, do you know they redesigned their theater? Did you know that they redesigned the Palazzo Theater? And I you know what? Know. You wouldn't know because you're so busy with your constant creativity and your endeavors yeah. and you know who's it who who, who are they have in that theater it's boz uh star-crossed oh, love yeah. Yeah, and uh, apparently it's a whole uh well scripted production about the world's most iconic love stories you yeah. and stacy so should be on there. i heard about that <laughs> yeah he's a, a famed film legendary visionary boz lurman Sometimes right. these words just don't even want to come out of my mouth. You know what cool thing that's coming up too? I've been to Japan. Have you on tour? I have not. I have not. <sighs> I want to go though. I loved it. And the Kabuki Masters, uh, they're going to be in the David Copperfield Theater at the MGM Grand May 3rd through the 7th. And it's just this whole thing about a mythical lion. Wow. You know how the Japanese and that whole Orient art and everything. And actually, I believe in, I did go to a kabuki theater in Japan. Very interesting wow. art for, form. Really? You could probably do a kabuki show if you want to add something a little more international. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Ishikawa Somagoro, he's one of the most celebrated kabuki artists in Japan, and he's going to be the star of that show. And another really cool thing, the Bellagio Fountains, they're going to do that whole Japanese sword lion. Did you oh, see wow. with the holograms and everything? I haven't seen that yet. I heard so, of it. So that's amazing. Um, you know what? I could go on and on, but I'd rather people go to my website again, uh, www.vegasonlyentertainment.com under Vegas VIPs. Jackie Brett's column. I publish every Monday. Everything is there. And I do not want to go away without talking about you and all these wonderful endeavors that you have coming up Thank you. and how great it is. What would you say? Let's put him on the hot seat here. <laughs> um, what do you like the most about working with the family and in this particular venue? No, well, you truly have this family atmosphere about it. And uh, in my position, I get to invite some friends who have like kids like six to 12 and I encourage them to like, bring their best friends to 
because that's just a great way for a, a uh -huh. family to bring the other the kids that are in the house all the time to a nice show that uh, everybody likes. And let kids experience some of Las Vegas, right, for a change. Yes. And then us adults put them in that theater and we'll go watch Evil Dead, yeah. <laughs> the musical, <laughs> or something like that. Time has flown. I feel so special. I have so enjoyed myself today. Me as well. Uh, you're just a star and you're surrounded by all this love and beauty and I think it's great. And another shout out the Red Roof Inn across from the Hard Rock Pet Friendly, free Wi-Fi Continental. Co Did I say Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi and Continental Breakfast for Kids. Stay tuned. Join us next week. Bye-bye.